Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box when those of you want to skip ahead. Please know time is fluid so for you this could resonate past, present, or future if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the Aquarius Collective. Okay. A couple things here. Okay. We have forgiveness, we have soulmate, we have inner child, pride and ego, and we have fear. I'm immediately getting like a really strong message. Now we're intended to do this more so in a twin flame scenario, but it could resonate for anyone. I'm going to refer to the divine masculine and the divine feminine. That we're not talking about a physical gender. I want to first and foremost say that the divine masculine is the energy less awoken, usually running from the connection. The feminine is the one more emotional about it, more aware of the situation. I feel like there's a masculine energy here who wants to ask for the divine feminine's forgiveness about a relationship he has had with a soulmate. Okay, another soulmate. Um, this person, I feel like, and again, we don't take sides, all right, but. I feel like the, the biggest issue is this masculine's ego, like afraid to be vulnerable. I'm honestly getting like someone who may have been punished as a child for being emotional or like was, was toxically told, you know, you can't express your feelings. You can't cry. You have to be very strong. And I feel like this masculine has a lot of deep fears about the situation. Like I think that he ran from the connection with the feminine to pursue a soulmate. Okay. I think it's complicated things. And I think that this person um, may have even not been like, you know, I don't I feel like something this masculine has struggled with. It's like maybe even as a child, there's a lot of deep wounds here. Like this person was like never praised for their accomplishments, always talked down to. So now they have this great sense of pride about them. They have a hard time admitting when they're wrong or their faults. And again, no offense to anybody who's watching. Please take what resonates, leave what does not. This could be a very uh, a very um, specific situation that may only resonate for a handful of you. Um, but I'm definitely sensing here that there's a lot of work to be done. And again, we don't. We're gonna pull some some tarot as well to get some confirmation here. Um, and but we don't justify negative actions and behaviors here on this channel. We don't do that bull crap. But I'm just here to explain to you this masculine's perspective so that you can better understand them and the situation and how you both ended up here, okay? So, clear messages and guidance. Let us look at the divine masculine first, okay? So, what is his thoughts, his feelings, intentions, and actions the divine feminine can expect? So, what does he think? The moon. There's some things that he has not told the feminine. Um, now, he could be a Pisces Cancer, okay? Or she could have those elements strongly in her chart. But with the moon energy, there's definitely things that are hidden here. He thinks of this connection like the, like he hasn't told her of his feelings. He's actually kept, he may not have ever told her that he loves her. Okay. Um, I'm getting like very emotional. Like there's so much emotion here. That this masculine doesn't feel that he can express. He doesn't feel like he can relay this. What is his feelings? Ooh, temperance, Sagittarian energy. So he feels like the divine feminine brings him some sort of balance or harmony in his heart some sense of peace or it's like she's accepting of him she he feels like she is someone who is very patient and generous with her love with her emotions with her heart but he, he may even feel that he does not necessarily deserve the feminine because of how kind she is he feels that he wants to heal the relationship with her because he does love her deeply. This is also two major arcana, so huge energy here. All right, so what is the, his intentions with her? What does he want to happen or feel like needs to happen? What does he intend to do here? Ten of Cups. Now, this masculine might already be in, mar physically married to this soulmate. And that could be part of the complication here. But the Ten of Cups, he does want to be with her long term. He does want to be in a commitment with the feminine. But I don't feel he's fully told her this. He loves her. Ten of Cups. It's a completion. It's a happily ever after. 
It's, you know, coming home with you at the end of the day, snuggling up on the couch, watching Netflix, eating dinner together, you know, all of your day-to-day -day mundane, boring activities is done together. And because you're together, it makes everything, even the boring hard times or whatever you're dealing with, it makes it all worthwhile. It just some sense of peace and I'm just getting like this very tranquil energy when you're actually physically together. What are his actions? What can she expect from the Divine Masculine? Justice. Libra energy. Again, another major arcana. He could be going through a legal situation or separation or divorce. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like he may be... Either he's in some kind of common law situation where he's like, you know, practically married to this person, physically married to this person, or has some kind of custody, maybe even agreement if there happen to be children involved. Um, which could be a part of this as well, but I am feeling like this is a masculine who has a lot of deep wounds from the past. And, you know, that is where the complications has arrived. All right. So let us look at the divine feminine, her thoughts, her feelings, her intentions, and any actions or guidance messages for her. Okay. So how does she think about this connection? How does she think about her masculine? She has a lot of anxiety and fear about it. I think that she worries that she's wasting her time here. She worries that the two of them will never come together. This masculine could just be leading her on. She may see the masculine as struggling with some sort of addiction, okay, even. But Nine of Swords is like the nightmare card. I think there's a lot of, I want to say almost trauma that's occurred because of the connection, because of his actions or his lack there of expressing that. Um, and I think that she worries that he's not going to come forward. She wonders about it, like it plagues her mind. If he has gone back to a karmic, it keeps her up at night. She is tormented almost by thinking of the two of them together, by thinking of what, what he's experiencing. I think that she worries that he doesn't love her or that he'll never reveal this to her. What are her feelings toward the masculine and the situation with the, the masculine? She feels they are destined for each other, that they are meant to be together, that there's higher forces at work bringing them together, that, that somehow they will come back together. That's her fear. Like, we're, we're missing out on destiny, you know, by not being together. Her intentions. What does she want? The strength card. She wants to have the courage to get through this difficult time. Now, she could be hoping for to connect with a Leo or something strong Leo in their chart, but she wants to come together with a masculine. And I just want to point out here that so far we have seven cards here, um, and most of them are major arcana, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five major arcana out of seven. Just a very big energy shifting, I feel. She may hope here that this masculine... It's going to have the courage to go through some kind of legal separation between him and his karmic. Some of you, I'm getting that this person proposed while you were actually knowing this person. Or went back to the, to the soulmate asking forgiveness, trying to work out the relationship. And they need, to, they need to ask your forgiveness. This could have blindsided the Divine Feminine. Alright, any action messages or guidance for the Feminine? What is her actions? What would Spirit recommend that she do at this time? fight stay strong don't I don't mean like physically fight don't get into a fist fight please don't do that but don't give up um, that's what they're saying and again you have free will to decide what you want to do but this is what spirit is passing um, stand strong don't let this person get to you there may be somebody here who this karmic may may be aware of you and try to spread drama or um, try to stir you stir things up with you just remain you know remain strong and you know don't allow other people to influence your decisions this is completely between you and the divine masculine there could be conflict around the masculine and spirits letting you know just to be aware of that. Like this person's going through a very ugly, nasty divorce or separation. There may be a lot of conflict after this masculine decided to do this. So be a support system for him. With this Empress under the deck, I definitely feel like this is your energy. Taurus, Libra energy as well, but this is Divine Feminine. 
So there's potential for growth. Some of you may have a family with this person or hope to have a family. I do see a lot of communication coming in between the masculine and the feminine. I think that he has heavily been thinking about reconnecting with the feminine, coming together again. There's a lot that needs to be said, a lot that will be discussed. The feminine may ask for some time to kind of think about things because it definitely feels that this masculine was held back by fear and pride in the past. And it obviously complicated the relationship. Let me look at some of the obstacles and challenges that, that may need to be overcome here. Maybe affecting this connection. What are some of these obstacles and challenges? Okay. So the challenge is that something ended between the masculine and the feminine in the past. Okay, with this coffin energy, there was some kind of finalization in the past. Because this masculine didn't come forward with his emotions. He was holding on to something. Maybe even trying to work on a past relationship. Um, but there's going to be change here, I feel. This masculine may return with a gift or some kind of offer or gesture to prove to the feminine that she is who he wants to be with. That he does see things clear at this point. Um, try to ask him for her forgiveness. You know? I feel like this is somebody who has a very hard time doing that. Has a very hard time being vulnerable, emotional expressing what they feel what they want right let me see any additional messages or guidance here okay so what we have here we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life i feel like that's exactly what the masculine is trying to do at this time you know, he's trying to separate himself from this karmic situation he does not want to be in. You know, I think that he may have held on to something that was unhealthy because he was very prideful, maybe even afraid of change. That was the only... I, I'm honestly getting like this masculine... I feel like they ended up in some kind of relationship with a karmic. Okay, maybe even a karmic soulmate. And again, we have many soulmates in life. Soulmates can be friends, family, lovers. Some can be long-term in our lives. Some can be here for a short period of time. Some can be sporadically in and out of our lives as needed. Sometimes they're karmic. And karmic doesn't mean bad, okay? It doesn't mean, you know, horrible. It can't. This karmic is a representation of a lesson. Good, bad, ugly, sometimes even beautiful. They can come into our lives for many reasons. This was some kind of karmic situation that he was meant to learn something from. I feel like he did not have stability or structure in his life or something. And this karmic gave him that at one period of his life. That's why he's clung so tightly to it. Because he's been afraid of change. He's been afraid of losing any kind of security because he had not had that growing up. Or there was some something that was lacking. And again, we don't justify the actions that he's taken. But we're here for a purpose to understand it. You already know your side of it. You know what you think and what you feel and what you want. Your reason for being here right now, listening to this message, is because you need to understand this person that you're dealing with. What do they think? What do they feel? What do they want? Are you wasting your time or not? What can you expect from this person? What are they willing to offer you? How are things going to unfold between the two of you so that you can make your, your decisions moving forward for yourself, for your family, for your future? How did you end up here? That is what we're here to learn. And I feel like this masculine is kind of finally standing up, standing strong. This this courage, this strength that you hope that they have, I feel like they are making changes. I feel like he's very aware, okay, that, you know, he was not open emotionally in the past, that he held back too much. It was hard for him, almost like painful for him to be expressive with his feelings, with his heart. And... He was afraid of losing the security that he'd known, even if it wasn't making him happy. And I think that he may have resorted back into going back to his soulmate to make it work. And I think that he definitely needs to ask the feminine for forgiveness. Yeah, it's like he needs to beg for another chance here. You know, probably even apologize for either proposing to a karmic or, you know, going back to make that work. You know, there was some inner he uh, healing, his inner child that he needed to accomplish. You know, that pride, that ego, the fears that held him back. I think that he is definitely being challenged and working on it now. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I think that he's coming back for a chance to try to work on this with the feminine again. I think that he recognizes that he needs to offer her something serious, something real. And he wants to know if she's willing to fight with him to leave he's leaving my situation he's even expressing you know this is not going to be easy 
but let's try to put that behind us and just try to enjoy this connection with each other. Any additional messages or guidance here? Okay, quite a few things coming out for your reading. So what we have here, this one here says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. I feel like there's a, there's, there's a connection between a twin flame and a soulmate here. And I feel like this person knows that these are two matches for them. Even if it's not necessarily perfectly harmonious and happy, it's like, you know, there is some form of comfort in that connection. That's why they kept going back to it. Um, and they're, they're, they're learning. Under, expand your understanding of life and love. There's lessons to always be learned. This person's been struggling with this for a while, but I think they're coming to a conclusion to detach and pursue the divine feminine. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And I feel like you have done that. Like you've been there for them. You know, it's like you're not going to agree to just be, you know, this person's mistress or, or whatever the case may be. You want more than that. That's what you need. This person needs to kind of get a hand on what, on what they need to be working through so they can actually give you what you deserve what you're what you're needing requiring from them you've challenged them and now they're having to make some decisions new beginning a new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately again there's a new beginning for the two of you if you want it it's opening up to you okay so that is what i have for you thank you so much for watching thank you for those of you who do send in donations it is truly appreciated thank you for liking sharing subscribing as always i wish you strength and many blessings Bye bye